Can you try and kick the ball back? You can do it. Use all your big girl muscles. I got this. in Brazil. I played a lot of football. Bye-bye. That's it. H2O. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. So when you separate the atoms via electrolysis, you can burn the hydrogen as fuel. The product is water vapor, and it releases harmlessly into the environment. And gentle on Mother Earth. Sounds like a plan. Let's continue this little chat when we're not in such a perilous situation. Take a picture of the lock, do a reverse image search online to find the exact model, take a master key, and we're in. Or we can freeze it with liquid nitrogen. Actually, the compressed chemical dies the more thing. If you cool it to negative 25 degrees Celsius, even tough locks become brittle enough to smash open with a hammer. Or burn through it with a thermite reaction using aluminum powder and rust powder. It can be very dangerous, but pretty awesome! Or we could just walk in. That works too. Bright, I need to borrow your necklace. Michaela, I need a rusty leg of that metal chair. Ahora. Now we need something that we could use to burn, to make some smoke. Burn my socks. Although, fair warning, we may regret it. One minute. When aluminum reacts with rust, it creates thermite, which burns at over 2,000 degrees centigrade. Mira! The smoke trail is venting through that seam in the wall. Perfecto! <gasps> See? Let's get out of here! Nice job, guys. Nailed it. Yes! Yep, we, we did, did it! We escaped! Go us! My skateboard's rubber wheels won't conduct electricity. Cameron Coral, you are all kinds of prepared. That was awesome! Way to go! All right, I, damn. That girl makes something so scary seem so fun! <gasps> It's okay, guys. Don't worry about me. We're not leaving without you. You won't have to. Wood is not affected by electricity, which means this bench should do. Wow! Cameron, you're not the only one with tricks up her sleeves. about people from their trash. Bye, y'all. Bye, Lucinda. It's hard on a plant living in a closet.